gosh, I got more coffee, bro. What's this? Welcome, everybody, to my show. Welcome to Sit Grandpa. I'm your host, Ricky Drama, live here in Cebu, Philippines. I want to wish you welcome, everybody, to my show. We have 61 in the chat. Uh, what's going on, Jermaine? Uh, brain damage, dark as angel. Leo from Frio, uh, Beach Life, uh, Pink Knuckle, Maryfield, Carpenter, New Age Barbarian. Uh, Steadfast Stacy, what's going on, man? Great job. You know, yesterday, um, you know, uh, I'm gonna we're gonna find out who this New York or this Martin Luther King is from the GD Mead show. We're gonna find out who that is. And uh, put him on blast, you know, you know, you know, all, all talk, no bite. I mean, all these losers, uh, you know, that support G Mead and the e, the e begging midget. I mean, it's just the comical, bro. It's comical, and you know, they're gonna put down the hammer. Sure, they are, bro. They got, they got no juice. They got no, they got, they got nothing, bro. They got no, you know, and then, uh, you know, uh, and then uh, GD, you know, I, I mean, I just, I text, I text uh, Brevis last night. Great job helping Mr. Mead because we all, because we all, you know, we know Brevis and that we, we know, Bre you know, the real Brevis and that's the real Brevis, you know, a, a nice, caring guy with a lot of connections here in Cebu. And that's who he is, man. You know, that's who GD Me met at the hotel room. That's why GD Me had that uh, had had the genuine feelings, even though you know all his dipshit losers, uh, you know, they're, you know, they're just jealous of the dude, bro. They're just jealous of his winning, bro. That's all they are with jealous. Jealous of their of his winning. Well, buddy, what's going on, man? I hope your legs better. Where are you at here, man? Yeah, there's there's video. Go to go to his channel, bro. Yeah, it was disgusting, man. The uh, racism last night on uh, disgusting on the GD Mead show. Disgusting racism. You know, if you're gonna talk like that, show your face, bro. You know, you're gonna do all that stuff. Show your face. Be a real man. Be a real. You know, be a, like Goldfinger says from Doom Gate. Be a real. You know, be a real. You know, expat. <laughs> I mean, apparently, uh, you know the uh, the you know the, the pimp, old dog, new tricks. You know, you know he's coined uh, he's coined the phrase real uh, expat. Is that is that a pimp Paul Paul the pimp Paul the pimp. Is, is that what you call a real expat? You know, that band in your family in Las Vegas, you know, they're all like scattered and, and destroyed. And you ran, you ran to Phuket to be a, a pimp, you know, on uh, in, in Bangalore Road. 
I mean, and then you came to the Philippines and, uh, you know, you know, uh, bullshitted everybody, you know, and ended up uh, doing what you do now, you know, being a pimp. I mean, it's just, I what the hell, man. I mean, anyway, whatever, bro. Uh, anyway, I hope you're doing better, Willie. So, uh, real men aren't fade to show their uh, polished hair. I, this, again, bro, this is... Um, this is dyed hair. You know, we're going to uh, we're going to Bahal. We're going to Bahal this morning. We're going to Bahal, but this is breaking news, bro. This is breaking news. This is breaking news. We knew about this news a few days for a few days, but we've been waiting for the confirmation, and then it came, and I missed it because I'm too busy getting you know my. I'm too busy. I'm too involved with my tender loving, my TLC, tender loving care relationship with my beautiful girlfriend, Apple. I mean, I'm just, you know, winning out here and, you know, between my exercise regiment and uh, what else? Oh, yeah. You know, trying to trying to make a baby. I mean, I'm just too busy out here, bro. He's out here killing it. I'm being quiet, bro, because uh, my girlfriend's sleeping. <laughs> my girlfriend's sleeping, bro. She's sleeping, bro. What time is it, man? In the uh, you know that dipshit Popeye one. He, I guess he has a live stream going. You know that dipshit loser. But whatever, man. Whatever, man. So, anyways, uh, I don't know. You know, we got a lot of people here from Thailand, man. You know, nobody cares about me in the Philippines. Nobody cares about me in Thailand either, <laughs> but my channel's dead, you know, but, you know, we're still trying, we're still trying, we're still trying our best, you know, to put up the content and be somebody, you know, oh, you're winning, hey, I know you're winning, bro, yeah, go to your channel, go to Wounds Thailand Retirement, and you're going to ball today, too, how oh, cool, we might be in business class together, Big E, Big, we're going to be in business class, uh, you know, on Ocean Jet. <laughs> this morning yeah 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 we're gonna be staying down there bro we're gonna be staying at uh we'll be down there tonight at that bar you know what the british guy owns be down there tonight man yep 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 yeah we see you down there man we do it live together alive <laughs> right until we get a hundred in the chat bro hundred in the chat we break this news it's gonna blow your mind. <laughs> I mean, I hope Frank, Frank, uh, is Frank off his live stream because uh, Frank needs to be here for this. <laughs> is Frank off his live stream because uh, Frank, hopefully, Frank's it looks like Frank's off his live stream. All right, cool. But yeah, anyway, Frank's off his live stream. We're just waiting to get 100 here. And now, nah, bro, what's up, man? I, you know, she's not pregnant by uh, Toronto, Brad, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. How can she do that when, uh, you know? Yeah, but, but you know, anyway. <laughs> Come on, 98 in the chat. Two more, two more in the chat. You know, I was watching over the weekend all these African American uh, blo uh, blo bloggers on that new. Uh, on that new app, you know, uh, you know, just acting a fool, man. I mean, my God, bro. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna take down America themselves, man. That's that's America's new uh, that's America's new uh, super race, you know, the African American uh, super race. And uh, wow, they're doing a great job, you know, exporting the American brand <laughs> worldwide on their live streams, bro. I'll be the biggest uh, asshole of all time. Hey, God, Gaza Sweden, what's going on, man? Hope you're doing well, man. Go to God of Sweden channel. He has a great live stream. He's got great guests. You know, he's got great, especially his music, man. He's got the greatest British uh, music experience you're ever going to have, bro. I mean, if you go to God of Sweden's channel and enjoy his music, bro, he's, you know, at the start of his, start of his live stream, he does his music. And it's just like, uh, wow, man, you're being transported back into an alternative universe, motherfuckers. <laughs> 
uh, what a great, what a great, what a great English man. And he's traveled the world. You know, he knows, he knows Phuket like the back of his hand. Beautiful Phuket Hilton there. And Huawei, I mean, excuse me, and uh, Kron Beach. Anyway, I hope you're doing well, Brad. Well, Bill in the chat. What's going on, man? Well, Bill, what's up? Uh, we're almost at 107. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Drum roll, please. Breaking news. I hope you're sitting down. I'm your host, Ricky Drama here and Sick Grandpa. You know Philippine bloggers and people that have problems with criminal records that are coming to the Philippines and Thailand, they're cracking down. They're cracking down on the uh, criminals. They're cracking down on people that have prior records that cause big problems. And uh, they, 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 you know, they have, this is, there's nothing, there's nowhere left for Western people to go to vacation, you know, especially Europeans, man, Europeans have nowhere left to go except, you know, Thailand and the Philippines they have nowhere to go. So they're, you know, the, um, these uh, immigration, you know, the immigration departments in Thailand and the Philippines are cracking down. They're cracking down. And I'm here to announce this breaking news here. I'm here to announce the breaking news that World Zoom, World Zoom, World Zoom, Paul. Oh, oh damn, what's up with my light, bro? Oh, there it is. I'm here to announce World Zoom. Paul David Caldwell is in the Mandawi Detention Center. That's right. World Zoom has been detained by the Bureau of Immigration and is in the Mandawi Detention Center. Let that sink in. <laughs> I mean, oh my God. That's Wow, bro. Wow. That's right. That's right. Yep, that's right. They're uh they're sharing a cell. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Here's the article. And this is why we couldn't break this story earlier. So we had to wait for the article. Here it is. Manila Bolton. BI arrest American fugitive. American wanted for, uh, you know, basically the, all this is his prior. Uh, he inquired about a permanent resident visa. And uh, after that, he was detained by immigration on Wednesday. And they're saying the reason why he was uh, detained uh, is the American man previously, this is a quote here in the article. The American man previously made headlines due to due to uh, what he said uh, due to the case after he was ordered to serve more than 10 years in prison. This is the reason why they took him down. He was quoted during the hearing saying, I was prideful, I was arrogant, and I'm a thief. Because apparently he said, uh, I'm a thief, um, and he had the prior records, plus public records show that he was again arrested in Bangkok for fleeing his fraud case. Caldwell remains in detention pending his deportation. So there you go, everybody. World Zoom is in the detention center in Mendawi. I mean, wow, man. I mean, wow, wow, wow. That's right. It's a big mess. It's a big mess. It's a big, yeah, his original name was originally, uh, let me see here, his original name, he had a do totally different name. Let me see here. Here's, if you put up, uh, uh, where is it at here? Oh. I'm trying, you know, I got to get through my, uh, I'm trying to find the grave site for Fazio. But where is it? Here it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, you put, this is what AI comes up with, uh, you know, uh, World Zoom here. That's what they come up with. But he had a totally different name and everything. But anyways, yeah, immigration arrested him because he said in his trial that I'm a thief. And so, boom, man, he tried to, he tried to obtain a permanent residence visa. 
And so he's in, that's it. He's getting deported, man. That's why, that's why, that's why, you know, you got to be very careful out here, man. <laughs> you got to be very careful out here. And if you don't want this to happen to you, if you don't want this to happen to you, there's something you can do about it, actually. There's something you can do about it, actually, and that is to contact me, okay, and I'll get you to the right people to apply for a, a visa, a permanent residency visa that you that you can get, and if you qualify for it and you can pass the background check, then this won't happen anymore, so please contact me at BigShotTravel69 at gmail.com. Big Shot Travel 70, Big Shot Travel 70 at gmail.com. Ricky Drama is 69 at gmail.com. And we, I will help, help you get a visa so you don't, you don't have any of these problems. I mean, it's easy, that easy, that easy. It's that easy. So, anyway, any, any uh, comments about this? Any comments? Uh, yeah. So, anyway, we got to go visit. We're going to go visit, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Uh, there we go. So, uh, it, Frank, you want to come on and uh, give us your reaction to this? I'll put out the, I'll put out the uh, invite here. See, Frank, you want to come on and uh, give, us a, give us your take on all this? See, copy that. Get out of that. Post that. There we go. So there we go, Frank. If you want to come on, Frank, and uh, give us your take on all this. <laughs> See any of the chat was going on. Congratulations. You know, good picture. You had a good picture. We finally saw a studio's picture. Congratulations. You know, you're out there winning in uh, Bataya. You know, um, Good job for you, bro. Yeah, he was an executive everywhere, bro. This guy was an executive. Everywhere. You know, obviously, obviously, you know, he, he's a, you know, what he said, he, you know, if, if he, he has a, he has a, uh, he has a video about, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, the conviction, you see here, uh, he has a video out. He had, actually had a video out, uh, the elephant in the room. There's an elephant out, uh, video, an elephant in the room, accusations, my rebuttal. And if you go to that video, it talks about, it, it, he's pretty, uh, he's pretty, uh, you know, pretty uh, open-minded and, uh, you know, transparent about what happened, man. But, you know, they got him on, you know, apparently they got him on the transcript. They got him on the transcript, uh, basically saying, I'm a thief, you know, and then boom, <laughs> you know, there it is, man. There it is. Anyway, righteous Billy with $10, righteous Billy from New Hampshire, the Granite State. Ricky bringing the news and much bigger news coming. I sense it in my bones. Righteous Billy, New Hampshire. Whoop, whoop. That's right. Bigger news coming. Bigger news how does World Zoom uh, connect back to Frank? Because you know, Frank, I'm sure is going to take credit for this. <laughs> That's why <laughs> Frank will take credit, you know, for this man. Frank will take some take credit. So <laughs> that's why. What do you think, me? <laughs> He's going to take credit, bro. He'll take credit, of course. Yeah, great job getting with the kids this weekend down there at uh, Ayala. Yeah, thank you very much, Rez Billy, for the ten dollars. I'm breaking the news. There's much bigger news to come. Yes, there is bigger news to come, ladies and gentlemen. Bigger news to come. And uh, actually, uh, you know, it's uh, it was uh, it's been kicked off. <laughs> honey's pregnant. Come on, man. He's pregnant. Well, honey co's pregnant. No, 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 no. Yeah, he's yeah, he's a nice guy, man. He seems like a, you know, I saw him at the casino, man. I saw him at the casino, but he ran off before I can get to him, man. He ran off before I can get to him. You know, I was trying to I was trying to get off my machine and get over there to talk to him, but uh, he took off, man. But yeah, there you go. So again, the big news tonight, everybody. The big news tonight or this morning here in the Philippines, Monday morning. 
is that World Zoom, uh, Paul David Caldwell is in the Mindawi Detention Center here in Cebu. He's being uh, detained and he's being deported according to a news article on Manila Bulletin released yesterday. Now, for some reason, you know, the uh, news, the, the, uh, they, they published this thing, but there was an announcement on uh, Immigration's website, but whatever. You know, whatever. So that's it, man. That's it. T Taco Tommy died, bro? No way. Come on, man. Come on, man. Taco Tommy, man. He's a billionaire, bro. He's a billionaire. Billionaires don't die, man. I mean, it, you know, it takes a lot, bro. It takes a lot. A billionaire to die, bro. Yeah. So, my, my, what's going on, man? In uh, in the Netherlands, man. Hope you're doing good. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let me see here. Uh, device is not connected. Frank's trying to go on. Oh, hold on, Frank. Hold on. Frank, can you put some figure uh, fingers up, Frank? Let's turn your cam on and uh, turn your cam on, Frank, and so I can see you. Uh, or just show your just show uh just show some fingers, Frank. Turn your cam on, man, and I'll ask you to show some fingers. Whether you're Frank or not, bro. Come on, uh, anyway. It's not Frank. So yep, so that's basically anyway, anyway, uh, world zooms and detention. You can go to the you can go to the Manila Manila Bulletin, Manila Bulletin, Manila Bulletin, and uh, look up the story. So that's it, man. That's it, basically. That's it, basically. And uh, last night, you know, we watched some live. We have some great live streams. You know, GD Mead, you know, said he was done. He wasn't going to live stream anymore. And, of course, he got, uh, let me see out of here. Frank. How's it going, Frank? Yo, 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 Rickster. Can't hear you, Frank. The the uh, the sound, Frank. Or hold on, me. It's my sound. Frank, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Rick. Hey, what's going on, Frank? What's your reaction this morning to World Zoom in the Mendawi Detention Center? Uh, well, Barry's going to have company. <laughs> Well, actually, uh, I, I've listened to World Zoom a couple of times, so I'm not totally familiar with his uh, so-called crimes, but I'll take your word for it. Um, yeah, I think he's going to find it to be a pleasant abode, but uh, no guarantee that uh, Barry's still there. No guarantee at all. He's gone quiet, and there's a couple of things I'm very much aware of that I can't discuss on here, but... Just let it be say that, uh, well, I don't think he has a good future, and uh, he's got a lot coming. I got secrets to tell myself, but I unfortunately can't do that on here because I'm not supposed to talk about the case. But uh, I think you understand that, Rickster. But yeah, Frank, well, I mean, first of the case. I mean, the case is pretty easy. You got five cyber counts on Barry Jordan. And uh, you got them locked down. You know, you can't. You know, you can't do anything until the cases are resolved. That's it, right? Uh yes, basically yes. But there's a little more to it. Things have come up, so I can't discuss it. But um, the fact is, uh, if you had to weigh the odds in Vegas or something, as far as uh, whether he's going to get snake eyes or otherwise, you know, he's going to get snake eyes. But then again, Ricky, uh, you got to understand, you can, you got to know when to stop. And he's not capable of doing that. So when people say, well, Frank did this to him, well, that's not really true. He did all this to himself. And it gets to a point where everybody's told him, I said, man, shut your mouth, man. Let it be. Just, uh, you know, just work on your freedom and, Get a good lawyer and do what you need to do. And, you know, the case is against you. And uh, if you want your freedom, you want to marry your girlfriend. You know, you want to have the White House with the picket fence on $500 a month. I don't know how you're going to do that. But the boy can dream, I can tell you that. 
But as far as World Zoom, well, if he's still in a Mandawi detention center, he's going to have somebody to talk to. Now, that's a nice thing. It's a nice thing. you got to have somebody to talk to besides the guards, <laughs> who are all lawyers, by the way. Did you know that the guards are lawyers, Ricky? Well, the guards have a lot of, you know, the, guard, the guards have a lot of experience with immigration because they're trained immigration officers. No, you know. <laughs> so, you know, they, of course, they can give it, they can give their advice to Barry about what they think is going to transpire. <laughs> in his well, case. that's not a lawyer. That They're not, Ricky, <laughs> they're not lawyers, period. They're just plain clothes people they hired to keep an eye on the, on the goings on in the jail. And that's, that's, you know, they didn't go to law school. And you can't go by what a guard says. I mean, you'll go what your lawyer says. Now, unless they got a, a lawyer's degree, then I'd say, okay, listen to the guys. They might know something. But the guards don't know all the details of him because basically Barry is spitting off a lot of poison to the guards about me. Look what this guy did to me. Look what this guy did to me. But he didn't tell the guards what he did to me or other people. So it's kind of a one-sided thing. And the guards, you know, they're kind of buddy buddies with him, Ricky. You know, I mean, well, you kind of, Frank, you, you, you do, you do go to the edge with the guards. I mean, you, you make a lot of <laughs> accusations about the guards. I mean, aren't you? No, worried that no accusations. No, 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 no. I'm saying that they're not lawyers. And it's pretty obvious. You'd have to be, you know, dumb as the man himself to not think that how is he allowed to use his phone and Xbox when he's not supposed to? He's got, let's just say, a amicable relationship with the boys. You know. Yeah, but why are you so it. worried about what Barry does in detention? I mean, you you know, you had to well, endure you had to endure all the all all the pain and suffering, uh, physical, mental uh, anguish. Well. I'll answer you, that. You took corrective action. You took. You took well, action hold on. on. You got him detained, and now he's oh, now he's been gotcha. charged by the prosecutor. Why are you so I, worried I about you. what's going on? I got you, but let me explain. Okay, it's one thing if he's an immigration alone. Okay, you know they allow you to use shit like this. Generally, you know, to call your family. Uh, by the way, this is, hold on, hold on, Frank, hold on. This is my morning brew, and there is his link. So if you want to go to his channel, you know, in my opinion, or Frank. Taggart's been on a lot. He's been on YouTube for over eight years, and he's probably the greatest hate streamer in the history, you know, of uh, Philippines YouTube. So anyway, go ahead, Frank. Well, it's kind of like this. Once he found out that he had actual charges against him for cybercrime, now a normal person would say, oh, shit. But what he did was, even after knowing he has got five cyber counts against him, he continued to do the same things he did to get him into trouble. Now, that's a brainless wonder, because if you want your freedom, Ricky, right, you're not going to do that because that's going to go against you. And there's lots of proof of it. The best thing to do is you put down your phone, use it to make your orders for food, use it to call family if you have family or if you have an attorney, use it. That, that's what it's meant for. That's it. It's no jail is not meant to be party central. Well, you got a whole sorry, sorry store in your jail cell. Like a, you got a Motel 6 slash sorry, sorry store. Okay, and uh, he's gotten drunk on camera at least five times that I know. So where's the booze coming from? Doesn't magically appear from a little leprechaun. The guy's gotten drunk in his cell. He thinks it's, uh, you know, maybe he thinks it's a Ritz Hilton or something. Although it's more like a Motel 6 compared to real prison. But what our boy doesn't understand is that there is a court order, Ricky, my boy, a real court order from a real judge that says he is to be remanded into CPDRC or equivalent. Now, that still stands. He could be there right now, for all I know. But they have to honor that. And forget about what he says about immigration. says, they're not letting me go anywhere. That's not true. They have to abide by the court order. So here's the bad scenario, fam, Ricky. I'll lay it out for you. The bad scenario 
is that while this trial is going on, let's say he gets remanded, if, if, if not already, into the prison. He has to, and he's not even convicted yet. He has to go in that prison, Ricky, for how long the case is. That could be a but long Frank, time. You know, first of all, he's, he's going to a, he'll be transferred to a jail. You know, in the Philippines, you have to have a conviction of over three years to go to prison. If it's less than three, you go to jail. He hasn't even been, he's just, he's just charged, Frank. He's not going to prison, right? Well, hold on. The Barilli court judge had a letter, which was introduced. That was to remand the body. That's the language they used. The body of Barry Lee Jordan to the CPDRC facility. Now, you could argue with them folks till the cows come home. I don't make the rules. It was deemed by God or whoever to have him in that prison while he's awaiting his trial. Now, I have nothing to do with that. This was decided by the court, not me, not me. Okay, the written order is there. Now, the big problem why he's not in there already is because, well, you know how slow the system is, and to get paperwork and information. And Barry claims that immigration has a stronghold over a regional trial court, which is wrong. A regional trial court has precedence over immigration when there is a criminal case going on. They could whip his ass out of there. They could put him anywhere they want him to be put. So Barry's wrong about that, and he's lying. Look, I know this stuff because I'm actually involved in this case, and I actually have an attorney who's a good trial lawyer who's in touch with the prosecutor and everything else. Who's going to know more than me? I'm not going to come on here and make some lame statements at all. I know what's going down and a few other things I can't talk about. Let's just say that the likelihood of him spending a very long time incarcerated, even before he would get convicted. Let's move on with that. All right, so he gets to go into prison, has a lot of fun. I can't, I mean, okay, Frank, hold on, honey. Now, you said that, uh, you said that, you know, the best thing Barry can do is put his phone away and, you know, be quiet and focus on, you know, his case. What can Barry do to, you know, have you drop the case? Well, you know, Ricky, there was a there was a time that I actually considered that. Seriously, have, you know, because I figured, you know, he's going to be deported anyway. Either way, I win either way. He thinks it's going to be just a, a year deal, but no, it's going to be permanent. I already know that. I know that from the prosecutor and my lawyer. It's not a, it's not a you know, it's not like a comeback in a year. He's gone. I could have settled for that. But when he continued to do these shows and put these community postings on and say the things he did when he was more verbalized, okay, and then when he brings in my mother calling her a whore, that 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 was it. I mean, there was no turning back. Um, in other words, your buddy there doesn't know when to shut his mouth, and that's his problem. If he was had any brain cells at all, he would say, man, I got to lay low. I'm in bad enough trouble. I mean, I want to get out. I'm tired of being in here. It's hot. It's sweaty. I can't go out to the bars and chase tail. I can't go out drinking. I can't do anything. I'm sick of this. I'm going out of my monkey ass mind. Okay, fine. We understand how he thinks. I think we all feel the same way, Ricky. So would you? You spend four yeah, days. Why in do you here. keep saying he's in a? Why do you keep saying he's like uh, he's on a holiday? I mean, the, I mean, he's. I mean, this. this well, he's on a, no, no. Center has no windows. I mean, no, no. Air. He's it's on. Crazy. He's on a holiday. I mean, he's on a holiday compared to where he's going to be. Is what I'm talking about because where he's going, anything goes. They don't like you. Well, you're in trouble. You don't obey he's the law. He's going to jail, you, though. I mean, you paint a paddle. picture of big paddles and you know, yes. Go, you no, know, it doesn't work like this in the in the. It, oh it well, I'll tell you what. You I'm tell president. that. I agree. But he, you he's not tell going that. To prison, right? You he's tell like, that to the disciplinary people that are holding that paddle. Have you seen that movie? Okay, happy jail, which happens to be the particular jail that he's deemed to be going to. If you break an infraction of the law, 
your ass gets paddled. And according to what you did, you get more paddles. And these people can't even walk after they get up. Now, if he runs his mouth like he normally does on YouTube in a facility like this, it's no longer the Holiday Inn. It's not the Motel 6 either. This is the real deal. And he's going to be part of the, the population. It's not going to be segregated. You know, if you don't like the swill they eat, they're not going to serve your ribeye. Okay, you have a commissary there. You could buy your Oreos and some shit food. But you're going to eat the swill that they eat. Oh, he can't eat the rice. I'm allergic to rice. I can't eat this. I can't eat that. Well, you'll eat a cockroach if you have to. You'll fry Barry up a rat. Money, Frank. Barry has Barry has money. He's gonna be. It's gonna be like. It's gonna like. It's gonna be like the uh, Goodfellas. You know, they'll be in the jail and they'll be making <laughs> spaghetti and you know. I mean, they'll he'll get the best stuff from S and R. You know. I well, mean, it's like be, this too. You know, be well, it's like this too. It's like stuff. hold on. His girlfriend more likely will be the one that delivers the stuff. She's going to have to go to a strip search every single time she goes there. Not. Not to mention strip possibly a, a cavity search. A strip, That's come right. on. How you know that? Now you know. Now you know what the security precautions. Yes, security I do. I do. Are at the prison. <laughs> it's procedural. They don't want contraband to come into the facility. They're fighting that all the time. It's almost a losing battle, but they are fighting it all the time. Contraband gets in there all the time. So they developed some strict rules. And this goes back a long time, and it's a pretty standard issue when you're in a something called prison, not in a detention, prison. They have to check you out to make sure you are not bringing in any contraband whatsoever. That's just a fact. It can't be argued. So, Frank, but the, the he, families bring them stuff all the time. Listen to me, you know, Frank, the uh, families bring them stuff all, you know, the families come, they have all the food, they go, they they let them in with all this stuff, Frank. It's not going to be like a U.S. jail, man. This is the no, Philippines. They have, family comes, they have family they have, time, they have, they, have, they have rooms where they could do the naughty. I mean, come on, man. I mean, I mean, it's not going to change a lot, Frank. It's just not, you know, well, they, they, have, they the people. They have certain days that they allow family members for X amount of time. They are searched out before they come in there, number one. Sure, he could have family come over. Well, family is his girlfriend because her family don't exactly like him, whether you know it or not. But nevertheless, she is, you know, it's her hero. It's her Elvis Parsley, okay? And whatever attracts her to him, that's her biz. But two peas in a pod, I guess. But that's where he gets all his shit. She goes to SNR, brings him this and that. The life of Riley. But is well, it really? Why are you worried life? about this? Why are you so worried about it? You got him in there. You know, all, all, you, have to, all you have to do now, Frank, is just sit back and relax. I mean, why oh, are you I so hey, Rick, by Rick my girlfriend, Apple? Morning, Say hi to Frank. Hello, Apple. The apple of his eye. Okay. And then, uh, well, it's like Apple, this. Uh, Apple's expecting her iPhone soon, Frank. <laughs> I'm sure it's she is. I'm life. sure she is. I'm more than sure she is. You better fix that broken nail, too, if you didn't fix it already, Ricky. All right. All right let me, why don't we sum this up? <laughs> why, don't we, why don't we sum this up? Because I don't got too much time here. I got to go work out and hit the shower. But, uh, He's in detention. It's going on a year. Some people will say, well, damn, Frank, that's uh, punishment enough. Well, you know what? If he had shut his mouth while he was in there, admitted his wrong, this might take a different turn. I would have said, okay, he's going to get deported, never come back again, and that's cool. And that would have happened that way. But you see, the difference is, Rick, and you, I'm answering your question is that he continued with this shit, even went as far as knocking my mother, who's dead for 25 years, 30 years, I can't speak for herself, saying that she spreads her legs to all the men. That was it. There is no turning back. I'll give you your answer. There's not going to be any sympathy for the devil. I'm not dropping the case. Whatever the judge decides, I'm good with whether it goes totally my way, it doesn't go as far as I wanted to, 
I'm good what the judge says. Because now, understand, it's the Republic of the Philippines against him. I'm just the uh, the complainant. It's yeah, their why job. Do you, why, do, why do you worry so much about... Uh... Why do you feel like you have to go to the court every time? And, you know, I mean, the last time you went, you were there taking pictures of him in handcuffs. I mean, you were like uh, gleeful and, you know, it was like the, one of the greatest things ever to happen. I mean, why are you so? Well, it was. I mean, to see why? him in, in, I mean, to, to see him in, to see him in handcuffs is like, it's like a fucking orgasm, man. To see this goober with all the shit he's done to people. To see him sitting there in a court, and I didn't take the picture, by the way, but to see him sitting there in the courtroom with handcuffs on, it brought a tear of joy to my eye. It was a great scene. It, it, it was an accomplishment to mean that you can't get away with the bullshit that you did. Like he's expected everything from immigration. They're going to, going to catch him, and they did. Nobody's going to find me, but we did. Nobody's going to have any charges. You're going to drop the charges. There's no charges on me. And there were. Wishful thinking on his part. Now, remember something. He's not in there for no reason at all. You had to commit a crime to be behind bars. And, yes, it is jail. Forget this administrative crap. He broke a law. The law that you did not pay for seven years plus an obligation that all of us have. Why is he special? Oh, he's special. Oh, well, they're not going to catch me, but he's been running away from things all his life, Ricky, and you know that. You pretend to be friendly with the guy, but you know everything he's done. You know everything no, he's he burned done. No, he burned the bridges with me, Frank. He burned the bridges with me. I mean, I'm not doing anything for him. You know, said, oh, come on, his, man. Uh, you're still uh, doing a, you're still doing a Barry J free Barry J fund. Yeah, yeah, come I on. am. I am because I'm trying, you know, I, I'm still in contact with Barry's lawyer, uh, his immigration lawyer. So I, I do try and I'm, I'm do try. Well, you know, here's the thing, Ricky. No, I'm, I'm the immigration. Let, me, let me explain real quick, Frank. Go Just ahead. One second. So anyway, so if Barry's, you know. So I'm keeping my word, you know, so if Barry's immigration lawyer needs assistance or he thinks he needs something or he, he needs some support or help, you know, or something that I'm, you know, I'm following through and I'm trying to help Barry get out, you know, okay. I mean, if the immigration two lawyer good needs questions. Something, I'm still trying to help him. All right. You know. Two good but questions. Kind of all communication. All right. Two good questions for you. Maybe an answer. Please allow me this. Okay. Give me the stand a second here. Uh, the second question should be first, but let me begin with uh, what I think is the first question. Yes, immigration lawyer, not defense lawyer. He's got a criminal case against him, which he's not going to win. Secondly, you totally knowing what this goober is all about, the question that people have, and I certainly do, why would you be willing to help this man that you damn well know has done all of the above things. Why are you acting like the big E enabler for a man that has actually done all these things? It doesn't make you look good or anybody to trust yeah, you. The reason, yes, it's very, very simple. He did, he did all this because of YouTube. He's in there because of YouTube, man. That's why he's in there. I mean, you could have shut off. You could have shut. You could, Frank, at the, you know, at the very beginning, after you met him in Agante there at, on Batine Island, and you gave him the money for cigarettes, and, and he was with that girl, and then it didn't work out. You could just could have you just could have blocked his channel, you know, and moved on with your life, man. And none of this would have happened, Frank. I mean, well, none of this would have happened if you weren't you weren't if you weren't satisfied with your encounter with him, you could just blocked him from your life and moved on, and that would have been the end of it, Frank. Well, it's Barry one would thing. never done any of this. No, you no, know. no. Let me read but that's why, Frank. Sure. I'm just trying no, to no, I'm just no, trying no, to no, 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 no. Sure, I could have blocked him, but that wouldn't stop him from putting the material on his shows as he did. Uh, okay, sure. I could have blocked him, never listened to his channel. 
But nevertheless, he did produce umpteen thousand whatever shows uh, basically attacking me and saying things that nobody should ever say on here on a regular basis. Look, you get mad, you say things, right? You do. I get mad, I'll say a few things that maybe I'll regret. The difference is, how often do you say it? Do you do it daily? And do you make a show just all about one person and call them a child molester, which has a lot of after effects and threaten their life? That's different, man. That's totally different. It's not something that is excusable. It's not like, oh, Frank's got thin skin. Oh, hell no. Call me an asshole, call me an asswipe, whatever. That's like, you know, shit. You can, you know, you don't, nobody's that thin skinned with something like that. But it's a little bit different, Ricky, and you know that. Okay. If you had a local family, if you had a local family that you loved. No, I understand. Somebody, you know, we all get it, Frank. We all get it. You're abused. You know, there's no doubt about that. You're right about all that, Frank. I'm just saying, all I'm trying to say is that after your encounter with him in Agante there, when you met him and, uh, and then you gave him the money for the cigarettes and then it didn't work out and you got a bad vibe. You just said, forget it, man. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with you anymore. Blocked him and well, moved actually, on. Uh, the end of it, you know? actually, you're wrong. I, I did. I seen what kind of character he was and I really didn't want anything to do with him. I wasn't after him for friendship and I didn't start attacking him. Like he said, because he was making money on his YouTube show and I wasn't money had nothing to do with it. That's his statement. I had assessed his character, especially after a second meeting when he brought this girl over, she wasn't very attractive. I don't remember her name. She worked for a laundromat and Gilda knows who she, you know, we talked to her in the living room and this girl told us about how abusive he was. You know, because I was out talking to Barry at the time at my house, and and she was in my living room talking to my girlfriend, and some of the things she said, I said, "Well, why are you with him?" Well, apparently, she's been in a lot of abusive relationships, and she figures, "Fuck it, all men are like this. I'm just gonna go along with this." And he was using her like a piece of meat. And he'd tell me while we were out sitting in at the your table. Opinion. With- Again, this is in your opinion. You. This is this is just what your take is on it. It's not it's not necessarily true though. That's what uh, I mean. You can just block no, it all. No, 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 no. It's coming from the girl from here. Hold on, Gilda. What did uh, what did that girl say about Barry? You're the one that was in the living room talking with her. Yeah, the girls uh, told me about what uh, Barry's abuse here. So that's why I I know what uh, the girl said. Then I tell to the girl, "Why you be with him if he if he abusing you?" And she because uh, she, I don't have a boyfriend. I got a kid and something like that. And I go no, I said. Then party going to Mindanao. Then they come back like that. They doing for the the business somewhere. The planning to business, and then I said, "Don't believe that." Barry's trying to say that you know he was going to start a business and all that stuff, as he tells everybody. And you're hearing it from Gilda here; it's impromptu, no rehearsal here. She met her, and she talked to her at length in the living room. And I seen the way he. In fact, Barry told me himself was sitting out on the table outside, outside of Marlins Resort, the resort, and he was telling me that she's just a good fuck and blah blah blah. And all that, I'm going to get rid of her soon. And you know, to hear this, that that's Ricky, there it is. That's what you want to hear. That's when I decided what a scumbag this guy was. Right from there. Had nothing to do with money he made on YouTube and I wasn't making any money. That's his excuse. Or he tried to befriend me. No, he wanted the ratings by being with me on camera somewhere was going to benefit his show. That's what they do. That's what everybody does when they meet up with other people. When you interview other people, it's the same thing. I figured him out from that day on, and I knew that this guy was a scumbag. That he was a low-life fucking loser, and I didn't want anything to do with him. Now, that's why he became adverse with me, because I voiced it out. And that's why he became adverse, and it graduated and grew and grew and grew to the point that he did daily shows 
knocking me, but not just knocking me, but calling me a fucking child molester and threatening my life and then graduated beyond that. And while he's sitting in a fucking jail cell, my friend, while he's sitting in a jail cell and he's still doing it. I mean, what kind of a lame brain can this guy be if he wants his freedom, Ricky? Come on, even you know that. If you were in that situation and you wanted your freedom, be honest with yourself, not to try to please your crowd here. Be honest. Are you going to continue to do things while you're in jail or when you want your freedom and you know you want your freedom to get you into more hot water? I think you have some reasonable intelligence, Ricky. I'll give you some credit on that. Yeah, you know, I agree. I agree. Barry Jordan's a scumbag. I agree with everything you said, Frank. But you could have blocked him and turned it off. I mean, when Barry Jordan blew, uh, blew me out of the water and burned me, you know, and then I did a live stream in Bangkok, which I deleted, you know, and we were going at it. I was yelling at him, in, you know, on Circumvent Road, and he was uh, and he was going off in the chat and everything. You know, I just said, okay, fine, man. I, you know, I'm done. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm finished. I just blocked the guy. Oh, but yet you want to help I, him. On, man, What's your I'm, audience? I'm still trying to follow through with my commitment to help him get out of his situation. That's all. I'm, you know, I, I'm following through what I, I promised. Ricky, I Ricky, you have no obligation. You could have walked away. Gilda, you guys could have walked away from this. No, we no, could this not. Never happened. No, we could not walk away from this. My values and yours might be two different animals. I'm sorry, but you know, social media has a long reach internationally. And when somebody comes on there and they're saying you're a child molester, that's a dead Yeah, I agree. Of course, me. everyone agrees with that, Frank. Everyone everyone agrees with you, Frank, but when's enough enough? I mean when, when can you well, I'll tell you when enough is enough. enough. I, mean, I made a promise myself that the damage was I can't lay back. It's, it's different if somebody puts a show on about me and they copy my show and they have fun and they make skits. That's okay. I've been hearing that doing this, that, that shit for eight years. It doesn't even phase me anymore. But this guy doesn't learn a lesson. And the question with you is, you're finding excuses to help the guy, even after you're admitting that he's a scumbag and he's done wrong. And people don't yeah, understand so that. Yeah, again, like I said, Frank, it's just because this is all YouTube's fault, man. You know, if if he would if how is it YouTube's fault? Because how is it YouTube's content on YouTube for everybody to watch over seven years, just like you did, and then it, he paid the price. You got him, and you got him in detention. And so, well, you know, Ricky, people that watched him, people that followed him, people that people need to try and help him get out of this because if you watch his content over the over time, you know, you need to try and do something being, to get him out of this. He did, it for, being, he did it for us. The point being, the point being, Body yeah, that's in great, my listening internet, voice here. Great internet on your understands brand new, uh, or loves internet. the Philippines. Love. Okay, if you have respect for Filipinos, if you have respect for the culture and the Philippines, you can't allow a goober like this to do what he's done to people. We all know he's took money from people. We all know the story. This goes back eight years. Everybody's familiar with what he's done. We've seen things on camera. That shocked people. We heard stories from people who knew him and what he did. You can't enable. All right, here's the thing. You or whatever may not like me. I'm kind of indifferent with you, Ricky. We're different because, you know, I've met you, and I know you, you actually very, have. You guys are very nice. Gilda and Frank are very nice. They're very hospitable. When you go visit them, they're very they're very kind and they and they and they they hang out and they're very generous. Of course, I agree with Frank. Okay, well, instead of like, instead uh, of trying to be there's people, it, it, there's scumbags all over this country, Frank. There's the, the I worst, know that the, the West don't send their best, they send their worst here. There's scumbag dudes everywhere out here. Frank Barry's no different than anybody else, but you 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 went, you know, no, he is different. No, he is different. No I this. beg to differ. I beg to differ. He is different than everybody else. This man 
has countless things that he has done that is totally inexcusable. It don't matter whether you're a friend. Again, they're allegations, just like the knife. Again, he was just showing the knife to the girl. Oh, please, no please. Immigration dropped it immediately. You know, no, it, it no, 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 no. What do you? No, no. What do you think? Police reports. No. What do you think helped get him into that? That was included a troll in the video, material. A troll video. It was a troll video that got him. No, no. It wasn't a troll video that got him in jail. It was just I got out him right away. No, it was not thrown out. That's going by Barry's statement. That was not thrown out at all. It's thrown out because it was because it's not in this. It's not in Barry was issued a deportation, and he he's, he knows the exact amount he has to pay, and he knows all the stipulations and everything. Again, none, that that was thrown out on day one within the hour of the first uh, Zoom call that he it had. Was on national news. Yeah, it was on national it was news. He was on national news. Allegation <laughs> that was. It was thrown out immediately by the immigration prosecutor. That's what happened. You don't right? know that. You don't know I that. Know it was that. I out. know. I know everything about it. It happened. That's all in the formula. That's all in the formula. He is an undesirable, and yes, he was labeled an undesirable, and nationally in the newspapers and normal. Yeah, Norman can think just like just like World Zoom. It's just an allegation. You know, no, it's an Zoom, you, know, got, you know, Road Zoom got detained, thrown in Mandawi Detention Center, and you know, and he's there. And the Philip in the immigration said, you know, on his that uh, World Zoom said on his prior court trial, I am I was prideful, I was <laughs> arrogant, I was I'm a thief. So they're like, well, okay, well, if you say you're a thief, then why are you here in the in the Philippines trying to be a permanent resident? Well, you know, I, mean, I don't understand why you're so adverse with me all the time. I don't get it. Me and Gil that just showed you kindness, and we didn't have I'm to. I'm not about what, Frank? I'm not adverse. You do. I just disagree. Yes, you that are. You don't, say, you don't say you don't say good things away. about me. You don't say you make a lot of jokes about me, and they're not nice ones. And you're always talking about broke Frank or this or that, or Barry's going to go free. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, you like Vegas and all that. You know, roll the dice. And really, it's going to be up to the judge. It's not up to uh, YouTube. We don't have judges on here. It's not, you know, you're not on trial on YouTube. You're on trial in a courthouse where it belongs. Okay, that's your on trial. Understand something. There was a, a, a legitimate court order to remand him to a prison facility. The particular one was CPDRC. Okay. Now, what happened in the process is that the jail did not get this communique, all right? That's why he wasn't in there right away. You know how the system works. For example, you may not notice a hearing until one day before a hearing, and you get this summons in the mail. <laughs> That's the way it works out here, okay? Yeah, I know, Frank. Well, Frank, listen, we, you know, I just got, I got one more. You know, this is... This, Last night, uh, G.D. Mead, I don't know if you know who that is. G. Yeah, Mead, I know. Yeah, I know. In the Philippines. Basically, he said he's a victim. He goes, I'm a victim in all this. You know, I've been abused by the trolls and I'm a victim. You know, you just said that Oh, you, you call me bad names and everything. But Frank, you know, <laughs> you're just like G.D. Mead. You, you, you think you're are you a victim on YouTube, Frank? Are you a victim of the trolls? You haven't done anything wrong in your eight years. You haven't talked to any shit or spewed any hate. Come on, Frank, you're the greatest hate blogger of all time. You you know you can't be a victim. No, the difference Frank, between on, no, that's right? that's a definition. You're a great. You're a great is hate a, let blogger. me talk. You're, you're a great YouTuber. Come on, you're not a victim, man. Oh, I'm not a victim, really. I don't know how you define victim. I am a, a victim. Are you a victim? I'm a victim. Yes, I am. A Absolutely. barrier of everybody. I'm a victim of Barry in particular, but I'm a talk uh, a, a a victim of talk with other trolls who want to perpetuate. Are you a victim of Riff Raff Radio. Sure, we're all victims of sort, but it's according to what they do. Are you a victim of uh, uh, of uh, Quinton Ballou? Oh, I'm sure he's still on. He goes on. No, but are you, are you a, were, were you a victim of his? I would say so, yes. 
Okay, so then that's what I'm saying, Frank. You've been talking shit just like GD Mead for years, but just like well, the difference between the difference between let me finish. About everybody, I like to finish and answer your questions. Give me the time, so I'm not going to be on here too much longer. You could continue. I'm just saying, you guys aren't you guys aren't victims, man. Come on, listen up, listen up. Okay, you reap what you sow. An Barry's situation, let's concentrate on him. Barry knew what he was doing, knew what he was saying. He continued to proliferate what he's doing. And instead of trying to help his own situation, he made it worse. All I had to do was sit back, really, honestly, and let him put on shows and incriminate himself. If he had half a fucking brain, he would have just kept quiet, accepted his uh, stay over there, not use the phone only for the purposes intended to call a lawyer to order food or whatever if he had family that gives a fuck about him which he doesn't okay that's what it's for but he not me not you not anybody else decided to use his phone as a weapon yet again even when he found out there were actual charges against him for cybercrime he not me decided to keep on putting on more shows calling me the same names again and trying to antagonize and initiate more drama. Now, he did that to himself. Now, as far as you saying that me, well, I, I do bad things on YouTube. Dude, I'm listen. I'm just saying you talk, you talk shit. That's all I'm – you guys can't no, be haters. That's the difference. Be, be victims no, that's the difference. The that's the difference. You say I talk shit. Let me, let me elaborate on that. The only things, and you're familiar with my channel, and so is everybody else, and you can't deny this. The only thing I have ever done on my channel, 90%, 95% of what I've done on YouTube is simply taken information from somebody else's YouTube channel, what I've seen and heard, which everybody else did, and talked about it. That's the difference. You never say anything that bad about Apple. No. What did I say bad about? I never called her a whore. I have never. Let me get that straightened out right now. Let me get that straightened out right now. I have never come out and labeled her a whore. I've never done that. Nor, nor have I ever said the word whore pertaining to Barry Jordan's girlfriend. Barry's interpretation of what I said he added words. I've never said the word whore to his girlfriend, ever. Nor did I ever call Apple, blatantly call her a whore. I just want to straighten that out with you. Yeah, but did never. you ever call any Filipina that? I have in the past. Yeah, so but, it just so you know, so okay, so okay, but I'm just saying you got you and GD Meat can't pull out the victim card, man. Just like no, you know, not true, man. you can't pull the victim card out, man. That's I mean, not that's true. And that's why that's, that's why true. at some point you got you know what the difference between me up, you know? the difference between me and other people is that if I did a wrong, you know, you you get aggravated sometimes. We all do. And I out agree. of and out of aggravation, sometimes even you you say things that maybe you don't really mean, but that's human nature. However, the big difference is, Ricky, do you proliferate it? Do you go on every show and call this person a name on every single show for how many years? That's pretty radical shit. Yeah, no, you, he, I agree. He went over the line, Frank, and he's paying for it. I, I totally agree, Frank. All right, what's you know, your solution? Tell me what your I, I solution just, to this is. Tell me what your solution to this is. Yeah, I just think at some point you just need to say enough's enough, and uh, you I know, did. You need to, you know, maybe, I maybe, did. maybe, maybe, maybe you, you can go down there and you can meet them and maybe no, and no, 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 about it and uh, no, no, and, no, no, know, no. And to, to drop it. That would something. be harassment. I would immediately be accused of being harassing him. There's no way in the world to go down with your MBI agent and the attorney, Frank. Come on. That's nobody's gonna say anything about that. Well first of all there is try to first of all there is no reason to visit him. My mind has not changed and I'm taking this as far as it can because he just not he just not put me down in the most vicious way. 
but he started to get into my daughter and my dead mother and all that shit. I'm sorry, but I happen to love my mother and she can't speak for herself. And my mother was never a whore spreading her legs for people. That's when I really, really knew. Well, I always knew this, but what I really knew that this guy was irreprehensible. This guy was vicious. He could never change. So why I have to ask you what for ratings? What is it really? Pocket money that you are trying to raise money to help Barry Jordan out when you know damn well, damn well what he's done because you're just enabling the guy to do it over and over again. And the only reason anybody ever made a donation to him, including yourself, is because it's a way of slapping me in the face. It's not that you give a shit about Barry or anybody else gives a shit about Barry. They know who he is and know what he's done. It's a way of saying slap, slap in the face of me. But in the end, donate all the fuck you want. There ain't a lawyer that's going to help him out. There ain't no amount of money that's going to help him out. He either committed these crimes or he did not. Do I have the evidence to prove it? Yes, sir, I do. Okay, they'll ask him, did you say this or not? He'll come up with a lame, it's all AI, it's all AI. He's a child molester, your honor, he's a child molester. <laughs> I'd be laughing at that one. You know I'd be laughing at that one. <laughs> They'd have his ass nailed. <laughs> you know, that's the ignorance this guy has. It's funny, you got to laugh at this because this guy is so ignorant that it, it's you almost think it's an act, but it's not an act. You know, I've got the evidence, bottom line. But ultimately, to end this, it's up to the judge. It's not up to me. It's not up to you. It's not up to if he has any supporters. It's not up to even his own lawyer. If he had, never mind his immigration lawyer. The immigration lawyer is not going to handle this shit. And there should have been an affidavit turned in if he had legal representation already. My lawyer would have received it because he has to know this. He don't have a defense lawyer. If anything, they're going to give him one of them rookie lawyers, and they got to learn. They got to start somewhere. I'll give them credit. It doesn't mean that they're not knowledgeable. But I got an experienced trial lawyer, a trial lawyer, and a prosecutor that's on my side. And the like evidence. Frank, it sounds like, Frank, you have it in the bag. <laughs> like uh, nothing. No, no, you have it in the you know, bag no, 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 no. You know what? You I never say. Frank, I what never. About the karma. You don't think there's gonna be karma that's gonna happen to you as a result of all this? Oh, you mean like my brother dying? That was not karma to me. No, I'm just I saying like, over. I'm just saying. I'm saying karma as far as like blowback from all this. Well, karma for stuff. what? I didn't karma go out for there. All because, your, karma all your for what? Karma for what? Karma for what? For helping people, helping Filipinos, being generous. Being a loving partner, taking care of a family. For your actions karma on for, YouTube, Frank. Karma for what you've done in YouTube. Over no, I haven't years. done anything. I do shows that teach people, and if I talk about a show, it's what I hear right, on their own by their damage. own demonstration. How many, how many Filipinas have you hurt in the Philippines by your by talking all your hate? I haven't hurt anybody. That's what I'm trying to say, Frank. All I'm trying to say is that you guys play the victim card. I mean, I talk shit. I shouldn't try to play the victim card. <laughs> but everyone plays the victim card, Frank. I mean, that's what I'm saying, man. At some See, point, you got to say between, nothing up and Barry, man. The difference your, between Barry is at you fault. Barry. You're at fault. I'm at fault. We're all at fault on you. If we're on YouTube, the difference, we're talking shit. We're all, we're all at fault. The difference between me and Barry or otherwise is that in the past, I, I've far. seen, let me finish, let me yeah. finish, man. Okay. If I ever said anything out of anger on YouTube, which I have in the past, guess what? I made three, count them, one, two, three, which I only needed one. I apologized because people sometimes have their moments of anger and they say things they don't mean, you know, whether it's wishing somebody dead or something like that. Sure, when you get aggravated, you're going to say things you don't really mean. I don't wish death on anybody, contrary to popular belief. Death is too final. I think they should suffer in life, not death. Death is an easy way out. 
So I don't believe in wishing death on anybody. I think in their living life, they have to pay the price of their crimes. The difference between me is that I'm a man that admits that when I got out of line a few times, I said, you know what? I shouldn't have said that. And I said, I apologize. That's the difference between me and these people, and particularly this guy. That's the difference. I can recognize a right, and I can recognize a wrong. You're not going to attack that statement because I have made, because I never wanted to fall into that vortex. I use that terminology, the vortex. That's what it is. I got sucked up into that shit for a while, and I was becoming like these assholes. And when I got aggravated, I wasn't afraid to say it was on my mind. So you're better okay. than us? You're better than us? I'm better in the sense that I could recognize a wrong and I could correct it and I could give an apology. That's the difference. That's what a so, real man so does. Somebody, so if somebody takes action, uh, Frank, and, uh, and there's action on you, uh, are you, are you going to accept that action? I'll meet anything head on. I have no problem with that. I know, but if somebody uh, if somebody does somebody makes uh, an accusation on you, and if there's charges, are you going to accept that? Well, they have to prove it. But you know, but it had this is what happened to Barry. Well, you see, I'm the only one. I'm yes, the only one that had the ball. I, mean, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm the like only the, one. That, I'm the only them. one. Hold on. I'm the only one that had the Gagnols to take this head on. He's hurt a lot of people. And a lot of people wanted to make me the sheriff of YouTube. But I didn't take that position. I didn't sign up for it. Only when it hits me personally. I don't care what he does to other people. Hopefully, they'll take care of that business themselves. If he's offended somebody who's hurt a woman or dragged him by their hair and burned him with a cigarette, whatever yeah, people were saying. Yeah, but who thinks you're the sheriff of YouTube? Who said that? Oh, I, I mean, was labeled that. Frank, deputy that dog. You know, Nobody deputy dog. No, no, no. Deputy dog and all that shit. I heard all that shit. Come on, man. You're not the sheriff of YouTube. <laughs> no, I'm not. And that's not my intent. Hey, we got to Frank, anyway, but thanks so much for coming. We got to go. We gotta, we're, we're, going, we're going to travel to the... We're going down the Bahal today, man. But anyway, but thanks for coming on, Frank. I appreciate it, man. Uh, you know, I hope you hope you uh, good health. Uh, well, you know, it's the dice are going to roll. Up a tie now, I'm gonna come visit. Come down, come down. You got an invitation okay, anytime. Thank Seriously, you, Seriously. Yeah, yeah, Frank. I know, I know, I know. You're right. You're welcome to come down. I'm not holding any Absolutely. grudges against you. Absolutely, Frank. All right, man. All well, right. take care. Of take yourself. care. Bye, Frank. Have a good okay, night. take care now. All right, guys. Yeah, All right. Okay. Bye. Love you, Frank. Well, that was very interesting. Uh, again, you know, I mean, it might, for example, there's a, there, you know, you got Popeye, you have the Popeye one doing a show on me right now. And what's my, uh, what's my choice? What's my choice? I just, I just go ahead and not, I don't watch it. I don't watch it because, you know, why? Because I don't need to, man. You know, what's the point? You know, if you know, you have all these clowns and, you know, somebody's making a, a, you know, a derogatory video, you just don't have to watch it, man. You just move on with your life. And that's what Frank, in my opinion, should have done, man, was just block him. If we'd have blocked him all that long time ago, then none of this would have happened, in my opinion. But anyway, baby, anything to say? Nothing. Yeah, there's nothing to say. <laughs> there's nothing to say. Anyway, the breaking I news mean, tonight, the breaking news tonight again is World Zoom. Uh, World Zoom, uh, Paul David Caldwell. Do you have me to cook now? Uh, yeah, cook, babe. I cook a hot dog and egg, right? Uh, just hot dog and a sausage. Yeah. Look, even uh, Mike's Philippines retirements are, we just went live with it. Or you made a video, look. <laughs> That's funny. But thanks, everybody, for watching tonight. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, thanks for the $10. Billy, I appreciate it. And uh, anyway, that's the big news, man. World Zoom is in the Mandawi Detention Center. Have a good night, everybody. We'll try to do a live stream from the hall. Stay alert, stay alive. God bless you all, man. Watch out for the karma, Frank. Bye.